this video, we're checking out the new Acheria Pigments 3.5 update. We're gonna talk about a myriad of new features like the new cross modulation between the oscillators or the engines, the new filter, the new distortion effect, Apple M1 support, new presets, and a new sample browser that is built inside so you can load up your own wavetables. And last but not least, they brought more wavetables to the table. Anyways, the link will be in the description box and I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments section on how you feel about Astria Pigments and I'll weigh in with my hot takes per usual. It's worth noting if you don't have Astria Pigments but you have purchased something off the Astria website that you might get a special deal for Astria Pigments too. So I'm not gonna exclude that. I know someone would say that in the comment section and that's cool. So what I'm gonna do is just check out this patch. Now this, now this is a pad, I kid you not, and it is made up of two sample engines, yes. So if you are new to a Cherry Pigments, uh, it does play one shots. It can play theoretically one, two, three, four, five, six shots. Uh, I hope I am wrong, because if that is something where, yeah, round robin, mm, mm, that is actually dope. But let's talk about cross modulation here. Cross modulation, uh, you can choose between either engine to modulate the frequency. And yeah, so what I'll do here is assign like uh, this parameter to LFO2. And we'll put in LFO2 and... Then we can go over here to LFO2. Now, what I want to do is bring this. I'm going to cross modulate between engine two, and then I, I'll do fine, and then I'll use a function. So let's go ahead and uh, map it up to a function, function one. It's going to sound a little nuts. I, I just soloed engine two. But I want you to pay attention to this part of the UI, which the UI of this is very good. Uh, you can see when I add more uh, rate that the form changes. So I, I never noticed that the UI has improved this much since the last time I tried it out. Of course, uh, you can resize this. I'm not going to resize it on it. Well, yeah, let me show you how to resize. Uh, I have it at 90%, by the way. So at 70% is this small. And uh, we'll go back to 90%. Yeah. <laughs> that thing huge. Pause. Relax, guys. I have an interesting base patch. Get everything out of here. Space patch, again, very interesting, and this is where I want to go to the effects. The distortion effect has a couple of more types of distortion here. I'll probably go with that right there and uh, make sure that everything is up. Then you can filter out certain frequencies in the distortion if you want to kind of keep it kind of clean. And of course, ultimately you can sign it to LFO. Let's go to LFO one here. Yeah, so <laughs> you can get some pretty crazy distortion if you want it. I don't know, man, it's, it's up to you. All right, so let's add another effect. So another new feature is the new comb filter. So I will have to pick out a filter of some sorts. So I'm gonna 
go ahead and pick that out. And let's go to the comb FF, FB. Mess with it. Let's go ahead and assign that to function two. And let's bring in a drum line. There is a reason why I made a beat like this. I'm just saying it's better for demonstration purposes of a cherry of pigments. One thing I do want to point out in this update is this right here. So I'm going to go to this drop down menu and I'm going to go to folders because they have improved on the way that you will bring in samples. So all you have to do is just select that folder icon and then, you know, select a folder, you know, that way you don't have to import stuff and make it uh, harder on you to create your one shot sounds and go from sound designing on that. Pretty dope. If you own a lot of one shots, y'all must be crazy. If you think I'm going to show you all my one shot folders. Oh, you mother in hindsight of that you can do this right here. Let's go to way tables uh, I'm gonna go and show you some of the new way table folders uh, Because they added new waveforms. So that's pretty cool. And it's labeled pigments 3.5 Thank God a company actually knows how to label stuff, right? So, you know what is new? Surprise surprise and if you're wondering uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a preset tour now because this thing has a ton of presets as you can see so let's go through a couple of them right now. Tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Uh, are you really hyped about Pigments 3.5? I've always liked the Chariot Pigments. I was the first person uh, to jump on the wave when I saw what it was, and then it metamorphosized into something bigger than just a wave table synthesizer, especially with it, the way that it plays one shots. It's ultimately a all-in-one synthesizer reimagined by a Chariot with their take at least. Uh, the two engines, pretty cool. I like the cross modulation. Uh, being able to uh, frequency modulate between any type of engine that you have is pretty decent uh, as far as timbers and stuff goes. And speaking of timbers, the comb filter makes pads 
sound much better than previous iterations of pigments. And that doesn't even stop with their massive amount of modulation, which makes or break a synthesizer. And those are the pros. Well, my con will probably be the con that will never change. And that's because, again, it's an all-in-one synthesizer that can do a whole bunch. And that's the CPU usage. Uh, though my computer does not feel it at all, my laptop has done very well with all kinds of stuff. No matter what I throw at it, it, it does a really good job. And I have that linked in the description box. It's a Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 40, about a year old. So there's a newer model on, out on the market. But yeah, other than that, uh, pretty damn good. Do I, Do I? give this give the stamp the of, of approval. approval? I think y'all already know by now that I like the Atreus Pigments plugin. I've covered it so many damn times on this channel. Yes, and I say 98%. Mm -hmm.